This space somehow is now is this one word, which is one word, or not, and it's like a big table or a big ocean of all these rice mountains. It's this one big mountain in the middle of the beeswax, which is an incredible. Uh, We wanted not to have different works in this space. We wanted to have like one work, which includes uh, somehow everything. So, so and therefore I also didn't. Uh, I had this uh, exhibition last year in Grenoble, which was a very big, uh, great museum exhibition with different works in different spaces and so on. And then uh, uh, Beatrice asked me, "This is very beautiful in Grenoble, but I want something really special for this very special space." So. But uh, the decision was that I really wanted to have one work. The most interested in the uh, in the things themselves, so so I collected the pollen. I made, I used the milk, but this was not mine. This was, it was always itself, and nothing, nothing. And somehow I was, of course, I made the milk stone and I collected the pollen. But the pollen is not, is not like a painting which I made. And this is somehow the most important. And somehow I think also, therefore, it's so strong and has such a universal appeal to so many people all around the world because it's not, uh, it's not a painting which is made by an individual. And I think with, uh, in writing now, after all these exhibitions which I made over 30 years, so many exhibitions, which was my exhibition actually, but somehow I always felt this is much more than myself. Also including the Brahmins and then what finally I think, what is also the link to Mario, is that I think this is a big, big table, and you know, here. So, and uh, at the end, when the Brahmins will come, they will. Uh, they asked us to have uh, many, many fruits, which they will burn in the fire. So I suggested we have one of Mario's fruit tables, and we finally burn all the fruits on the table. Mm -hmm.